All right, next we have uh, four more spotlight presentations. The first one is bi-level learning of the group lasso structure, structure uh, presented by Jordan uh, Frecon. Frecon? Yeah. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. So today we present this bi-level approach to estimate the group lasso structure. So we consider the case when we like to predict a vector y from some matrix x. And to do so, we could look for a linear model where we need to find a vector w such as y equal x times w. However, in many cases, only some part of x might be relevant to predict y. So this is why you should prefer a solution w, which is group sparse. And one efficient way to do so is to resort to the group lasso problem. So given some parameter lambda and the prior knowledge of the group structure, the group lasso solution minimizes the sum of two terms. The first one measures the discrepancy between y and x times w, and the second one enforces group sparsity. Here you see an example where w hat is made of five groups, and only the first and the fourth group are relevant. So there exist many efficient solvers to find w. However, it requires the group structure to be known in advance. And in this work, we propose to estimate the optimal group structure. So to do so, we consider a multitask setting where we have T group lasso problems sharing the same group structure. The groups are encoded by a binary matrix theta1 to theta L, and each column of theta encapsulates a different group. For example, the first group is made of the first 18 features, so theta1 is equal to 1 from 1 to 18, and 0 otherwise. On the left side, you can see different uh, regressors. And here, for example, the fourth task only uses the first and the fourth groups. So now we have recast the problem of learning the groups as the problem of learning this binary matrix theta. And to learn theta, we propose a bi-level approach. The lower-level problem is made of the t-group lasso problems, and the upper-level problems permit to select theta according to some criterion. For example, you could choose the validation error. So u of theta will measure how well your solution generalized to new data. However, there are two main difficulties. First, w hat is not available in closed form. And also, it is not a smooth function of theta. So in order to overcome these two issues, we propose an approximate parallel problem. This problem is very similar to the one before. The only change is that we have replaced w hat by wk, which is the output of a dual algorithm that converged to w hat. And this dual algorithm involves two mappings, a and b, as follows. First, the dual variable u is updated k times using the mapping a. And then wk is obtained by using the primal dual relationship b. So now the goals are twofold. We would like to find mappings a and b that are smooth in order to smooth the upper level objective uk. And also, we'd like to prove that this approximate valuable scheme converged to the exact one. So here are the contributions of our paper. First, we have proposed this bi-level scheme to estimate the group lasso structure. And also, we have designed a dual forward-backward algorithm with Brigman distances chosen to make A and B smooth. And also, we have proved that by using this scheme, you can have the convergence of your approximate problem to the exact one in terms of minimum value and in terms of minimizer. So now that uk is a smooth function of theta, we can minimize it by using, for example, the prox saga algorithm, which is a variant of the projected gradient descent. So let's now take a look at some results. Here we would like to estimate theta star that I've shown in the previous slides. And to do so, we let our algorithm estimate and group the features into at most 10 groups. On the left side, you can see the recovered solution. It has currently identified the first five groups and currently identified the next five ones as being empty. And on the right side, you can see the impact of this approximate parameter k on the validation error. You can see that for small values of k, you have performance as badly as lasso, and if you increase k, you reach performance close to the group lasso with the oracle groups. For more details, you're welcome to our person 92. Thank you very much. <laughs>